Mommy, is this how you're featuring in my video? Let me remove your blanket so it kind of looks like something. What's up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amanda back at it again with another video. And I thought in today's video, I would run down four things you need to know before you relax your hair. So I've been seeing a lot of videos lately of people going from natural to relax. And a lot of these reasons that I've been listening to, I'm just like, okay, but. So I figured, let me fill in that but part of the portion in this video. The first thing we're gonna talk about is that I'm going relaxed because I just need more manageable hair. And that is true. <laughs> relaxed hair is more manageable than natural hair. However, it does come with its own set of challenges. When your hair is silky fresh and you just got that fresh relaxer and you can run your hands through your hair, that is the bliss part of relaxed hair. You know, that is when, that's before you get the new growth. That's when you're dealing with one texture. Everything is smooth. Everything is easy. But when the new growth starts to kick in and depending on how long you're stretching your relaxer, it starts to become more difficult as you're dealing with two textures okay so imagine dealing with the struggles of your natural hair while also dealing with the bliss of relaxed hair but together <laughs> that's where it starts to become a struggle so what i find mostly difficult with relaxed hair especially when i start to get that really really um thick new growth because i have really thick hair is that my natural hair tangles and mats a lot my natural hair is drier than my relaxed hair my natural hair needs less protein that my relaxed hair does so imagine having to take that into consideration while also being like oh but my relaxed hair needs protein you know oh but my relaxed hair needs to be handled with care oh but my relaxed hair needs to be handled more delicately than I would have to handle my natural hair that starts to become a struggle okay so yes relaxed hair is easier to manage than natural hair but it does have its aspects of difficulty especially when you start dealing with two types of textures so bear that in mind when you're going relaxed and know that the longer you stretch your hair the longer you have to deal with um two textures okay okay so my second point is for those people that are relaxing their hair because they're facing some kind of damage now uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos of people going, oh, my hair is already heat damaged. Um, let me relax my hair. Or my hair is already breaking off. Let me relax my hair. Or my hair is not as thick as it used to be. Let me relax my hair. Okay, so I just want to put it out there. Relaxing your hair is not the solution to damage. Relaxing your hair is not going to make it less damaged. Just because your hair is not relaxed doesn't mean the damage is not there, right? Heat damaged natural hair results in heat damaged relaxed hair so uh i say if for example you're facing some kind of damage do address that damage if you decide to relax your hair because of that damage fair point relax your hair have your hair relaxed but you still need to look and assess and fix the damage that you are dealing with because shedding relaxed hair i repeat will also result in shedding i mean shedding natural hair would also result in shedding relaxed hair because damage is damage okay third point is for people that are saying i'm tired of these mats i'm tired of tangling um i'm tired of all this matting and tangling that comes with natural hair i'm moving to relaxed hair sis come through welcome we'll take you <laughs> so um relaxed hair also sheds relaxed sheds relaxed hair also mats relaxed hair also knots relaxed hair also tangles right for one if you're dealing with two textures and you're stretching your relaxer the matting and tangling really really does increase especially if you don't know how to deal with both the textures your natural hair is just gonna mat and tangle at the base which, which results in your relaxed hair matting and tangling i've had a point not once not twice maybe like 10 plus times where i literally had dreads in my hair because i hadn't detangled my hair properly before washing my hair and because my hair is now relaxed right um it's not as easy as spraying water and trying to like um comb out that knot you need to be extra extra gentle with relaxed hair so now you can imagine trying to detangle hair that needs you to treat it gently you know so yeah relaxing your hair is not the solution to mats and tangle but they're probably not as bad as natural hair i've never had natural hair i probably have as a baby but like 
in my grown times i haven't had natural hair so you know i'm speaking from what i'm hearing from other people about the matting and the tangling and from what my new growth basically does but yeah relaxing your hair doesn't mean that you're never gonna get mats tangles and knots i've had dreads <laughs> next point is um for people that basically say i'm relaxing my hair because natural hair is too expensive i feel like relaxed hair will be cheaper to manage depends <laughs> so relaxed hair um is basically i like to call it high maintenance hair you know i feel like with natural hair people can um pull off uh braiding their hair leaving it like that for months and months coming back washing it doing twist out doing this doing that with relaxed hair you need to take into consideration how often are you going to relax your hair where are you going to relax your hair are you going to a saloon are you doing it at home what relaxer kit are you buying those relaxer kits cost money if you're stretching your relaxer for two months that's money every two months three months that's money every three months if you're stretching your relaxer every um to relaxing every six months for example uh okay you're saving money by buying a relaxer twice a month but then now you're putting more money into getting deep conditioners and protein treatments and this and that and this because you'll be dealing with two textures so um i find that when my hair is uh when i don't have a lot of new growth when i don't have a lot of new growth um my relaxed hair seems to take less product than my natural hair needs right so the longer i stretch my relaxers the more deep conditioner i need to put on that natural hair at the bottom if that makes sense okay if we look at these products they're actually going up in prices i feel like for example if you take a hundred rand and you're like i want to build a wash day routine like i need products for my wash day routine i need a shampoo or deep conditioner an oil to drop into my deep conditioner i need a moisturizer i leave in conditioner boo boo that hundred rand ain't getting you all those things <laughs> that hundred rand ain't getting you all those things so um yeah i think it just depends on you and what you are going to do basically with that hair yeah. anyway guys those were my four points that i wanted you guys to take into consideration please do think about it carefully because i feel like a lot of people are jumping into relaxed hair because of aesthetic purposes because of how it looks or because everyone is now jumping into relaxed hair and being like if you're relaxed yeah i might as well relax my hair uh it is a wonderful process i love my relaxed hair boo -boo. i love my creamy crack okay give me some creamy crack but it does take a lot of maintenance and a lot of uh, managing but yeah guys thank you for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe and share i'm out bye loves